So let's do find. And I'm pretty sure I paid the uh, amazing Spider Man. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to go with the number. Hopefully, we can find it. Doop. So, Amazing Spider Man uh, 675 from, 19, from 2012, and I paid 99 cents for this. Okay. And this is almost going to be taken off the data. And he's great at this thing is 9, 9.2. Okay. And just, uh, just so you know, uh, with the seller, comic books that he grades on the low, you know, 2, gives him a grade of 2 or 1.5 or 2.5 or 3. I would grade the lower grades higher, right? That's one reason on the tables I put down grade bought, and then there should be a grade sold at, right? Because the ones that he lowballs, the 2s and 2.5s and, 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 you know, fair or whatnot, I would grade them higher from the three boxes that I bought so far and the ones that he grades at 9.8 or 10 because there's comic books he grades at 10 uh, I would grade lower you know they wouldn't give they wouldn't be graded as a 10 but the ones he's grading around 9.2 or so they're about a 9.2 okay and I paid 99 cents for this okay. we got let's take a look at the next one forbidden worlds okay forbidden worlds number 135 from 1966 and I gotta do double clicks for these so he's graded this as a three and I paid uh, three dollars on one cent for this okay. and I paid a little bit on the high end for this but um, I have some Forbidden World comics and I just wanted to get this one okay. this one is one of the ones we have in the I put in the spreadsheet, which is, uh, where are we? Oh, I hope I put it in the print 10. Did I put it in there? This is, uh, hmm. maybe I didn't, so I paid less than four bucks for this. Oh yeah, I did, cool. <laughs> rent 10, 10, okay, number six. And this is from 1954, and I paid $1.76 for this. Okay, sweet. And he's graded this at 1.5. Okay, and just from the cover, this would be graded higher than a 1.5. I'm, you know, we're not going to crack him into comics open right now. Uh, oh, we're getting glare. The sun is coming out right now. Uh, the sun wasn't out before. Then ten ten number six at one point five dollar seventy nine dollar seventy six dollar seventy six which is a good deal and I got some rent ten rent ten ten books uh, Mandrake number six from nineteen sixty seven okay and I paid two thirty one for this and this guy's graded at four point five and I have some Mandrakes. nice book and I wanted to add this because I do have some mandrake and I think I bought a couple more mandrakes in this set as well and just to give you a heads up I bought uh, for this lot I bought tight 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 and I bought uh, let's check out the amazing spider man Uh, and I bought a lot of uh, Classics Illustrated because I do have Classics Illustrated uh, in my collection and I just wanted to increase the Classic Illustrated in my collection um, so just a heads up on that deal Amazing Spider-Man number uh, 578 okay and I bought this for 99 cents and he's graded this at 9.810 okay <laughs> which wouldn't be 9.8 or 10 right now oh we're getting a serious glare okay what i'm gonna do i'm gonna close off the the skylights okay 
for 99 cents well worth it well worth it okay let me uh, go put a little screen on the skylight so we don't get as much glare try not to anyway Is that less glare? That is less glare. And it's sort of a little red screen thing I have. So skin was a little red, uh, red light action going on. Okay. So that's graded 9.8, 9, 9, you know, 10, which it wouldn't be graded as a, as a 10. Okay. Amazing Spider-Man number 666. Okay. Bought this for a dollar. I'm pretty sure he would have graded this as 9.4, 9.6. It's definitely, uh, you know, I've looked at the comics that, it, you know, previously where he grains them and 9.8 and 9, you know, 10 and stuff like this. And uh, they would be, you know, 9.4, 9.6. And 9.4, 9.6 would be graded at 9.4, 9.2. Okay, so that's the range we're looking at. Um, that's why the column where grade bought at and grade sold at. Okay. Doc Savage. Giant size Doc Savage. Doc Savage. Number one. Okay, from 1975. And I paid two forty seven for this, and he graded this at six point five. Okay, not bad. How much did I pay for this? Two forty, two forty seven. Less price than what new comics are going for. About half the price of what new comics are going for. Nice, nice, nice. I love me some Tarzan. Tarzan, <laughs> number one from nineteen seventy seven, right? Fantastic. Tarzan 225. This cost me. And he's graded this in 9.2. 9, 9.2. 9 okay. Good price. Good price. Two, 225. Okay. Awesome. The fly. The fly number one. Let's check it out. The fly number one. Can I just scroll and find it? No, let's do the let's do the search. Fly. Where are we? The fly number one from 1977 again. Cost me a dollar seventy-one. And the grade, that's a pretty good grade. 7.5. 7, 7.5. Fantastic. Fantastic, really. Dollar seventy-one. Love it. Awesome. I think I have a copy of this, but it's not the size great as this. Swamp Thing. Yes, yes, yes. There he is. Swamp Thing number two. The original Swamp Thing from 1977. Right? I paid a dollar or four for this. And this is graded at 6.57. Right? great thing to have when you're recouping from a seasonal uh, seasonal flu <laughs> right seasonal back to school flu thing like this I don't have this in my collection and I'm very happy very happy to have it speed buggy number one yes 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 from 1975 okay so this should be something that's in my um spreadsheet and it is right so speed buggy number one is from charlton comics 1975 cover price is uh 0 0.25 25 cents right i'm just reading off the column that i have so you can check this yourself okay and the grade on this he said uh, i put down six hopefully it is a six yeah he's graded at 5.56 so i'm taking the high end for the low stuff i'm taking the high end for the highest stuff i think i just put down what i put down Maybe I don't think I have anything from the high end in the spreadsheet from this guy. Do I? No, nothing from that. Oh, there's one eight. Eight would be an eight with him. 
Ah, so I put it as a six. Okay, speed buggy number one from 97. And I paid 425 for this. And if you look at the column, I've got the price paid 425. And near mint guide is going for $28. And if you look at the other columns for this thing, right? You got price per print run, market cap when it first came out, market cap as of the price of 2017. Their division by zeros are zeros, right? And the reason for that is because we don't have the print run. As soon as you enter something into the print run, so let's say we take it speed buggy number one, Charleston, I don't know what the average print runs were for that period. Let's say speed buggy had 200,000. Uh, 200,000, right? Boop. All of a sudden, we can see the other cells fill because we have the formulas in there, right? So if you want to add your own comic books that you've been collecting to this type of spreadsheet, just add them at the bottom here, create your own spreadsheet. It'd be awesome if we, you know, form something to share, slowly build up a spreadsheet. That way we can do some kind of analysis and other people can do analysis you can do your own analysis on this you know figure out some other metrics right which would be awesome right so if you know i put in two hundred thousand in column j right because that's the print run column and column i is the great sold you know i'm not selling this <laughs> so so two hundred thousand print run all of a sudden the price per print run times a thousand becomes a dollar fourteen and the market cap when it first came out becomes 50,000 and the market cap right now turns into 5.6 million right so you could do the multiple there you know 5.6 million divided by 50,000 see what the multiple is there right let me just do it right now I'm on this spreadsheet let's see if that works divided by oops do, 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 do. I'm just um, well it's done it's a hundred and um, 12 times right i think so anyway we can we can do this analysis later i just killed it okay so those are the columns and they have uh, you know who the artist is or artists and who did the cover right so that's the general gist of this i'm just going to take off the 200,000 for speed buggy oops i don't want to make it zero i want to delete it Boop. so we don't know what the print runs are okay but speed buggy number one sweet 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 and we got that for 425 that's a good price that's a good price oh, i saw this one here as well where is it <coughs> excuse me i'm gonna clear my throat uh, every now and then the last video we made uh no oh, wow it it where is it okay i thought i gotta put it Exclamation mark is not there. It come on, where are you? Hmm. Okay, I can't find it for some reason. It's well, maybe some other astonishing titles. Let's check it out. Astonishing, oh, there it is. Astonishing Tales number 21 from 1973. Okay, and I paid 99 cents for this. And this guy's graded at 4.5. And he's got a little mark, little note there. Back cover has small ink marks. And hopefully, oh no, I, this is not in the spreadsheet because it's not over four bucks, right? So it, uh, sorry, Astonishing Tales number 21, 99 cents from 1973, graded 4.5, I believe. Not bad, great price. 99 cents very nice another astonishing tales number 22 again 99 cents fantastic right. and this is great at 5.5 we're still getting a glare but not as much i'll bring them close up so you can see them better man thing can you scroll and find that no not really man thing Oops. man thing hey. man dash thing hmm. 
man uh, or the most startling slime creature of all man thing death of a legend number 16 I think this should be a man thing but I can't find it for some reason where is it From 1975, okay. I paid 225 for this, okay. and it's graded as 7.5. Who was I betting against on this? Yeah, another collector, isn't the hundreds for this? But good price, 7.5, 225, 1975. Man, thing number 18. Oh, I didn't have a little dash between them, that's why. 201 paid for this. And a grade 8, 7.5, 8, he's put that up. Right. Good price, good price. Nice. Now we're going to jump to Daffy Duck. Daffy Duck. Daffy Duck. Where are you? Daffy Duck number one. The price on this. Dollar oh four. And he's graded this at 2.5. Comic is off center. Small piece is missing from lower corner, left corner of front cover. Back cover, he's got a couple of notes here. Back cover has three inch tear by lower edge, right? Paid 99 cents for that. Oh, sorry, dollar or four for this. Okay. Good price for me from 1967. Just imagine giving this as a gift to a kid who wants to read some comic books. What a fantastic gift. There's the tear that he's talking about right there. Oops. Right. A kid would treasure this. I would have. I would have. 100% I would have right. more than anything you can buy in a, car, in a toy store right now almost more than anything else you can buy in a toy store right now there's some cool toys out there right now right the destructor destructor there it is Atlas Comics the destructor number two from 1975 dollar or four The grade for this is 7.58. I like it. I don't think I have any destructor. The destructor from Atlas Comics. <laughs> Huckleberry Hound. Anna Barbera. I don't know how big Anna Barbera is now, but it was when I was a kid. Let's see if we can find Huckleberry Hound. Is it up there? No, we're going to have to do a search on this. How do you spell this? There it is. Huckleberry Hound, number 34 from 1968, right? Paid 99 cents for this. And he's graded this at 4.5. Fun. Now that we know how to find Man Thing, Man Thing number 19. Man Thing. Number 19, where are you? Man thing number 19. 205 from 1975, and he's graded this thing at 7.58. Thank you very much. Right? Awesome. <laughs> this I don't think I have in my collection. The movie sucked. But I'm glad to have the comic book. Oh, excuse me, I'm gonna blow my nose. I guess the lighting matches my hanky. 
John Carter, number one. Let's see if I can find John Carter. John Carter. John Carter, Ward Order of Mars, number one. Right. 325. It almost made the cutoff for my spreadsheet. Right. And he's graded as a 7, 7.5. Awesome. I like. I didn't last all the way through the movie. I watched it 15 minutes and I couldn't believe it. I was like, what's going on? Cool. Happy to have this in my collection, though. Let's pull more out. <laughs> nice. <coughs> more man thing. Man thing. Man thing number seventeen. Okay, let me find it here. While we look at the cover. There it is. Man thing number seventeen. Two twenty five. Okay, and graded at 7.58. I'll pay 225 for this, most definitely. Okay. Man thing number four. I saw it up here. Man thing number four from 1974. And I paid two fifty one for this, and the grade on it seven seven point five. And some of these things I was bidding against resellers or heavy duty collectors, I guess. Right. So seven seven point five cost me five two fifty one. <clears throat> oh, here's another man thing. Let's do this man thing as well. Nice, more amazing Spider Man. I bought some Flash Gordons off this, but Man Thing 21. Okay, who's this guy? And there's a scavenger right in there, in their midst. Lunatic on every corner. The city trembles in mortal fear, for there's a lunatic on every corner. Nice. I love the words on these things. Number 21. 225 cost and the grade would be 8 8.5 nice nice flash gordon number flash gordon number 12 let's see if we can find flash gordon number 12 there it is. And I bought some extra copies. Yeah, see, for this one, I can't even click on it. So I don't know what the grade on this is. It was uh, some of these flash gardens, they weren't low grade. They were mid, high mid to high grade. So around anywhere between seven to eight, some nine. And this is flash gordon number 12, and it cost me 312. Okay. And then we got Amazing Spider Man. 582 582 <clears throat> nice and this one was 99 cents most of the amazing spider-man cost me 99 cents which is a fantastic deal you really can't get it for lower than that and it's graded this is 9.4 9.6 okay 2009 Nice, I love this cover. Amazing Spider-Man 576. Is it here? No, we got to search. 576. Cost 99 cents. Fantastic cover. I love this cover. Very cool. And again, 9.4, 9.6. Nice cover. Nice hit. This is a beautiful cover. Scary Tales, number one, from Charleston Comics. 
Let's see if we can find this one. Take a look at the cover. Scary Tales, number one. Dollar ninety one. Okay. And he's graded this as six six point five. Nice. I like it. Who was I bidding against? Yeah. Someone with two thousand two hundred and fifty three ranking or feedbacks, right? Sweet. <laughs> awesome. From Red Circle, the Super Cops. Where is the Super Cops number one? Look at this. Definitely from the 1970s. Sweet. Black exploitation, I guess. Super Cops. 202. Super Cops number one, 202. Fantastic. Oh, it was just a low, someone I was bidding against, someone is just, you know, it's got 142 ranking, right? We both wanted this. I got it. 6.57, that's what it's graded at. Okay. Very happy to have this. I would love to have this on my wall. I might put it on my wall. <laughs> Beautiful, take a look at this cover. Fantastic. I'm sorry about the glare, but look at that. Black exploitation. Nice. I'm gonna put this on the side so I know where it is. Speed buggy. Number three. Nice. I don't know if I got number two out of this. I don't think so. This one cost me 221 speed buggy and graded at 5.56. Okay. 221. Nice buy. I like it. I like it. Let me move these guys. So if we've gone through this much so far. <laughs> Star Wars fan? Are you guys Star Wars fans? Are you guys Star Wars fans? <laughs> X-Wings. Star Wars number six from 1977. This one cost me uh, 254. Right? 254 graded at six, 6.5. I grade this probably higher just from the cover. Don't see too many things. You have to take it out of the bag to take a look, but so six six point five two fifty four. Thank you very much. There's more Star Wars, but Sergeant Fury. Sergeant Fury 79, Howling Commandos, Sergeant Fury, there he is. Sergeant Fury, Fury and his Howling Commandos from 1970, okay, and cost 326 and graded at 6, 6.5, nice copy, very nice copy. I've been collecting some Sergeant Fury over the last few years, either at local conventions or through halls that I'm getting. Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commando was number 94. Dollar sixty-two it cost from 1972. And the grade on this is 4.55, nice cover. Let's see if we can get rid of the glare. So into it. Nice cover. <laughs> Superman, Superman. Let's do this. 
Superman number 104. Got it for thirteen fifty. Okay, it's got tape on the spine, so he would have graded this low. Um, so Superman one hundred four from nineteen fifty six, really. And he's got this is graded at one point five. I would grade this higher. For some reason, when he sees tape on the spine, he grades them at really really low. Uh, I don't know if that's, you know, I haven't looked into the. The grading uh, criteria what tape on the spine does if you know let me know um, but as far as I'm concerned because it is very personal right uh, I would not grade this at uh, 1.5 I'll grade it higher <laughs> okay so it cost me 1350 uh, it's from 1956 pretty low number for Superman right 1350 very good and I have this uh, this will be in my spreadsheet uh, where is it Superman number so 1956 10 cents 1 1.5 1350 in uh, near mint guide listed at 900 uh, but if you had 104 at near mint I'm pretty sure it'd go for higher than 900 okay. let's grab another stack let's grab another stack flash Gordon I used to love Flash Gordon. Do you remember the? If you ever watched Flash Gordon, the, the what do you call it? The jingle, I guess, for the for the show. Bow, bow, Flash Gordon. That's cool. Flash Gordon number sixteen. Where are you? Flash Gordon number sixteen. Oh my. I bought a few of these. Eh? Okay, I'm gonna have to type in Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon number. Okay, I'm gonna do it the hard way. I type the whole thing. Gordon number sixteen. There it is. Flash Gordon number sixteen cost a dollar fifty-one. So this would be on the lower end, I guess. Let's check it out. Yeah, he graded this at uh, 4, 4.5. So that's one of the lower end Flash Gordons that he had listed. I bought a bunch of Flash Gordons, a couple of doubles as well, I think. Yeah, a couple of doubles or triples even. And the price varied a lot on them. How much did that cost me? $1.51. Good, good, good. Scrooge. Uncle Scrooge. Uncle Scrooge and money. Just a number sign. I think it was a more single shot. There's a lot of writing on this. Belgium. A lot of scratch pen marks up top. Mm. Not sure if you can see it. So it'll be a low grade. And I can't even see the eBay's taking it out. So just to give you an idea, July July 09. I bought this in July 9th right July August August September October so three months ago eBay's taken them off so you can't look at the data and I think if you do uh, when you do search on eBay uh, the completed listings I think they only go back as far as a month right unfortunate unfortunate I wish just the same way we are sharing our data corporations and governments would share our data with us <laughs> right? they wouldn't be hoarding data Whew, I got a lot to say about that and I've said some things about it before right yeah I like to mine their data I would I would mine their data wouldn't you like to mine their data I like to mine their data Good thing WikiLeaks is around, right? We can mine their data. Flash Gordon. Gordon. This is number five. I think I grabbed a couple of copies of number five. And I can't, you know, this one's gone too. This is July 9th. I don't know. There might be a couple of Flash Gordons that I think one of the ones we can access with number five. I paid 303 for this, so this would have been a higher grade one. 
Actually, the Flash Gordon number five, I think I got two or three, and the price varied between 99 cents to three dollars, and they were all fairly high grade. But it was just a question of who was bidding against me. I wanted the Flash Gordons. Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon number 14. Beautiful cover. Take a look. I'll bring this up. Number 14. There it is. And again, this is gone. And I paid $1.09 for this. Okay, so we can't look at the grade. Sorry. I might be able to dig it up from my email. But we'll hold off on that. And then Flash Gordon number 12. This is another one. Uh, this one, if you see the previous one, we have the previous one here. Where's it already buried? Take a look at this. Mm, it's already gone. But if you looked at the other, this is Flash Gordon number 12. Okay, this is 312 I paid for this, I believe. Yeah, it would be this one. But if you looked at the other Flash Gordon, let me bring it up. Let me see if I can pick it up. It should be right here. So, take a look. See this flash Gordon? The top lettering is not cut off. This flash Gordon, the top lettering is cut off. It's not trimmed. It's just cut that way, right? So this one would be a lower grade than that one, right? So let's see what the price differences were. This one I paid three twelve for, which is a little bit on the high end anyway, right? But I wanted it. And then this one that's cut off, I paid 99 cents for. Okay. Cool. So those are some of the things you have to sort of look out for. Right? That decreases the grade and kicks up the price. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Just minor fluctuations. Right? And then we've got Flash Gordon number eight. <clears throat> this one 264 I paid I paid a little bit high for some of the Flash Gordons just because I was on a Flash Gordon binge I was getting the Flash Gordons I wanted them right and this one was uh, as great as 7.58 okay and I was bidding against high enders you know, it had high rankings. The one that kicked it up to 264 for me was he's got a ranking of 3,235 feedback, right? 7.58. I like it. I would rather pay 99 cents, but we'll take it at 264. Donald Duck and Uncle Scrooge. <laughs> As you know, I collect these. I like these. I've had I have friends that have kids, uh, and they you know they ask me, uh, you know, if they have any comics that you know their kids could read. And sometimes I pull out these things: Donald Duck and Uncle Scrooge, the best of Donald Duck and Uncle Scrooge, number two. Okay, and again, I can't see the grade on this. It's from 1966. Uh, eBay's taken it off, but this one uh, costs a dollar thirty. Fantastic, really, really. One day I think I'll uh, I start giving these as gifts. I have given some comics uh, to some people as gifts. Mutiny. We're hitting some Classic Illustrated now. Classic Illustrated. Oh, unfortunately, I can't even dig this up. Classic Illustrated, uh, figuring out which issue you have. You have to look inside, and there's multiple print runs of these. So this is Classic Illustrated number 100. Mutiny on the Bounty, 1964, and this was 99 cent. Okay, and one reason I'm getting Classic Illustrated, again, I have, I have people that, uh, and for me as well, I like Classic Illustrated. They take classic stories and tell them in comic book format. But for those that really don't want superhero violence and, ah, uh, nice, and stuff in, oh, I got one. Oh. Oh, the pack, pack. This, this one I definitely have to repack, but I'll show you this one first. But Classic Illustrated is a 
good way to read comic books if you want classic stories introduced uh, to kids, right? Uh, Porky, hey, how come Porky Pig is not showing up? All right, where's Porky Pig? Hmm. Por oh, this was from before. It was missing. Awesome. You included it. If you remember in the previous package we got, actually, you won't know because I had to check it to make sure they were all there. But this was missing. And, you know, I sent him a message saying, Porky Pig, this was out of a whole short box. This was the only one missing. So he included it in. He put it in. Awesome. Porky Pig. Yeah. <laughs> and take a look at this one. This one I have to rebag. The bag's broken on it. Shazam. Really? Shazam number two. And you can see the bag's broken here, right? I'm going to put it in a nice bag and board. Shazam number two. There's a Shazam movie coming up, right? Now we know who Black Adam's going to be. 324. And this is graded at 6.57. I got it at a good price, really. Shazam number two. Nice. I'm going to put this on the side here. Let me put these two on the side. Nice. Sweet. Got myself some UFO. UFO. I like Safa. Gold key. UFO. What number is this? This is UFO number 20 from 1979. And I bought this for 99 cents. And he's graded this at 4, 4.5. Awesome cover. Flying saucer cover and a cowboy. Like, seriously. A cowboy and a flying saucer. What else do you want from a comic book? <laughs> Sorry about the blurb. <laughs> awesome. The UFO. UFO in outer space, number 23 from 1970. Nine. A spaceship, a robot, and a couple. Can't beat that. Nice. My computer's giving off a glare too. I got a big screen as you know. Are you a Star Wars fan? Are you a Star Wars fan? Star Wars number eight. Cost me three twenty one, okay, and graded at six six point five. Happy to have, happy to have. Now is this considered investment comic? Pretty much, right? Reader, yeah. Add to your collection, yeah. So it can, it's for all three categories, right? Uh, but I didn't add this to my spreadsheet because it was uh, below the full four dollar mark, right? And Star Wars number seven. Nice. Right. From what I understand, a million copies of Star Wars number one were printed at the time. I don't know if that's true or not. Six six point five. That's what it's graded at, and I paid three twenty five for this. Okay. And again, I was bidding against people with high ranking, high feedback. Star Wars number five. So with this lot, I bought Star Wars 5, 6, 7, 8. Sweet. Star Wars number 5. 225 I paid for this. I'd say this is around well, 6, 6.5. Sweet. Happy with that. 225 for Star Wars number 5. Great, around 6, 6.5. Can't really beat that. Well, you could, I guess. Bought a big lot, but I'm happy with it. Thank you very much. <coughs> Let's grab another stack and mess up some tea. Yep. I can just search the number, which is good. Flash number 228 from 1974. I paid 99 cents for this baby. 
Uh, this is a little graded, yeah, two, 2.5. The cover is uh, all scuffed up a little bit. But still, very, very appealing cover. 99 cents for a 2.5 flash from 1974. Not bad. Classic Illustrated Black Beauty. Number, so Classic Illustrated number 60 from 1949, right? I don't know which print run this is. It cost me two, uh, 213. Oh, I can look it up name written with ink so here's the notes for it and this is what he does for all of his classic illustrated so it's graded at two two 2.5 sorry graded at 2.53 the note he has is name written in ink on front cover i guess that's the one really where name written in ink on front cover I guess that's Anna Swells, but that's not really written in ink. I wonder if that's the person that wrote Black Beauty, right? Because it's like typeset. Uh, I'll check into it. But this one, the Classic Illustrated, this is numbered, right? HNR158. Okay. And the first prints of these, I don't know. Um, this wouldn't be the first print, definitely not the first print. First prints usually are in the... 60 like h and r 60 and stuff like this or 60 80 80 is higher up uh so it's not a first print that's for sure uh so h and r number 158 that's what you have to look for when you're looking at the classic illustrated but for for 213 i'll take it i'll take it okay i love um i used to have horse a couple of horses our family used to have when we were kids back in the day back in the day so i know how to ride horses and i love my horses and we did a reading of uh, uh we did a comic book reading of uh, one of the classic classic uh, tv shows and movies that came out right here's uh here's another classic illustrated right what was that a comic book reading uh, National Velvet. We did the reading for National Velvet, right? Fantastic. That was a tearjerker of a movie. It was so... The movie, I didn't watch the TV show, but I watched the movie, and it was a fantastic movie, really. I haven't watched it again. I might give it another watch, see if it has the same feel for me. Uh, but this other comic, Classic Illustrated, Puddinhead Wilson. Puddinhead Wilson. 99 cents, okay? It's from 1954, and he's graded this as uh, 1.5, 1.8. Small pieces, and the note he has is small pieces missing from front cover's lower right corner. And this is HNR94. Okay, HNR94. So, I don't know. And it says it's first print. So, wow. If it's a first print, I'm surprised I got it for 99 cents. It is a lower grade. And here's a small piece missing. I wouldn't kick down a comic to 1.2, 1.8, or 1.5, 1.8 for this. Not even close. For me, a 2 is very scuffed up. Pieces missing everywhere, right? To a certain degree everywhere. It has to have some kind of cover on it, right? But very good. Very happy to have this for 99 cents. I have to put all my classic illustrated to one side so if I have people that want to read comics that aren't superhero that aren't violent and stuff they can uh, they can grab uh, can I find this through scrolling no another classic illustrated the last days there it is classic illustrated number 35 the last days of Pompeii from 1974 and I paid two uh, 252 for this okay mm. that's interesting maybe he's got this little add note uh, maybe i should be adding the notes as i go along but anyway they kill it so i paid uh, 252 for this i don't know the grade on this classic illustrator number 35 the last days of pompeii fantastic you want to read what happened to pompeii 
read it through classic illustrated dear slayer classic illustrated classic illustrated number 17 now we're getting into the low numbering of classic illustrated right 1954 I paid 99 cents for this and again I can't find a grade what he graded this at right but no matter what he would have graded that this is low and for me this would definitely be higher grade than what he graded at <laughs> 99 cents just imagine someone coming over they want to you know they got a kid hey do you have any comics you want to you know you can give my child to read do you really want to give him suicide squad to read oh nothing you know someone less than 10 tween even do you want to give him a comic book with a psychopath <laughs> harley quinn i like harley quinn i love harley quinn harley quinn fantastic but you don't want to give that to a kid you want to give him laura Don, Don, classic illustrated. Let's check out this one. Which one is this one? You want to give him classic. You want to give him classic stories, right? Classic illustrated number thirty-two. Lorna Don, nineteen sixty-four. I paid ninety-nine cents for this. Okay. So if this is nineteen sixty-four, it'd be the higher print runs on this, I believe. Anyway, I'm not too versed in how. The classic illustrated stuff worked uh, i know a little bit about it uh, i collect classic illustrated because i like the classic stories and i love the covers and the artwork and so are absolutely brilliant right classic illustrated number 27 the adventures of marco polo from 1964 and again sorry these are these were in early july july 6 that i bought so the description i can't click on them to see what it was what the grade was okay not bad for 99 cents <laughs> these ones i wanted he had uh book of steel and book of rubber uh so this is wonder book of rubber it came out in 1947 from the golden age of comics uh, the grades were these were around seven seven or eight Okay, and I paid three twenty one for this. This sort of promotional stuff that corporations put out, I believe anyway. I don't. I'm not familiar with these too much. I just came across them for, you know, from the seller. Three twenty one. Here's some stuff. We're collecting strange tales or tales to astonish. Sorry, tales to astonish. <coughs> number 84 from 1966 and i can't click on it or do i have this in table i might have found it through my uh let's check out the table tales to astonish oh i did cool no i didn't have the grade i don't have the grade but it is in my table but i couldn't grab it it's ebay's taken it off already okay and i paid 452 for this and it's from 1966 awesome i always look for uh tales to astonish right i have a few of these submariner tales to astonish number 68 and i paid 726 for this and the grade for this is pretty good 19 uh sorry 726 1965 tales to astonish number 68 i can't click on it to look it up but if it went for uh, 726, this is mid grade. Yeah, this is mid grade. They're both mid grade. Okay, this one is higher than the other one. Fantastic. Jungle Gym. Jungle Gym. Jungle Gym 27. <laughs> nice. Jungle Gym. Let's see if we can find it. Jungle Gym, 27. I paid 99 cents for this. Can't access the grade. Okay. It's definitely mid grade. Mid, mid, high grade. Nice. Here's Joe the Genie of Steel. 
And this is the one that came out with the rubber one. Uh, 1951. I paid a little bit too much for this. 550. Okay. But I wanted it with the other one. Okay. With the rubber one. Nice. And I can't access the grade for this either. Let me put them together so they're together. Here they are. rubber informational to a certain degree propaganda I guess right <clears throat> let's take a look what else we got how is our timing on this wow I've been going on this for an hour and a half so far ball whip bull whip Walt Disney presents bull whip griffin Okay. Cost five fifty four, and the grade on this is three. That's what is graded. I would grade it higher, just from the cover. I would have to flip through it, but I would grade it higher, most definitely. Photo cover, Sea Hunt. Sea Hunt number seven from 1960. Uh, 291 it cost. Okay. And he's graded this at 1.5, 1.8, chipping around edges of covers. Okay. This one. I really wanted this one. Linda Lark. Linda Lark, student nurse number one. Okay. And this one cost eight fifty. Okay. And the grade on this three three point five. Fantastic. And this is definitely in that spreadsheet. Linda Lark, Dell Comics, 1961. Uh, near mint goes for 40. Uh, if I find an, if I could find a near mint copy, I would pay way more than 40 for it. Way more than 40, right? If I had the money anyway, if I had the budget, right? And I would grade this higher than a three. Possibly there's some browning happening inside on the edges. Rex. The Adventures of Rex, okay. This is on the spreadsheet as well, so we'll just take a look at it on the spreadsheet. The Adventures of Rex, number 29. And what have we got? The Adventures of Rex, number 29, from 1956. Okay, he's graded this as a two. I paid 13.49 for this. Let's make sure, let's check it out. Rex. Yeah, thirteen forty nine for this, and near mint it says it goes for two hundred. But if you could get your hands on near mint of this at two hundred, you got a good deal. I don't think you could find it for two hundred. Okay. And one reason that this is going for that cover, Gil Kane. Right. Inside, and I have this in the spreadsheet, so you can look at the spreadsheet. The artist for the inside. Uh, the writer and the artist are Bob Haley, Gil Kane, Bernard Sash, John Broom, uh, and Carmino Infantino. Right, Bob, Bill Kane, or Gil Kane, is uh, what kicks this up, right? Which is one reason why there should be a multiple, multiple for uh, artists, right? The Cat. Next issue, the Cat number four. From 1967, dollar fifty. This one cost, and it's graded at three, three point five. Nice. Back to classic illustrated, the Iliad. Oops. 
the Iliad, or Classic Illustrated number 77, the Iliad from 1966, paid $1.28 for this, and the grade on it is 3, 3.5. David Copperfield. David Copperfield, Classic Illustrated. It says it's the first print, right? Classic Illustrated number 48, David Copperfield. I paid $1.69 for this, and it's graded at 3, 3.5. One inch split by lower staple on spine, and the number for this is H. RN150. Cool. Another David Copperfield. Where is the other one? Classic Illustrated David Copperfield, number 48. Right. So I guess this is a future printing of the previous one. I paid 99 cents for this. And this is graded at 4, 4.5, and it's HNR 167. Okay. So sometimes they, well, a lot of times they change the covers from one print to the other. Well, the earlier prints have a different cover, and later prints have different covers. King Solomon. Classic Illustrated number 97. King Solomon's Mines from 1964 paid $1.25 for this and it's graded at 3, 3.5 and it's HNR 167 okay nice you've seen this I got uh, this not this, but uh, I already have one copy of this. We saw it in the previous comic book hall, possibly. Um, but I have the number one of this frame, right? Alien Encounters, number four. Nice, nice. Alien Encounters, num number four, right? Paid 99 cents for this. It's from 1985. And it's graded at around 6, 6.5. Love the cover. Love the cover. Oh, glare, glare. Check it out. Sweet. Get smart. And I have Get Smart number one. Get Smart number two. 1966. Sweet. Right. Uh, I paid two thirty-six for this, and it's graded at three. Bigger crease on lower right corner of front cover. It says, so graded at three, two thirty-six. Right, and I was bidding against a uh, high-end collector, so here's the crease mark. But whatever, it's better, higher grade than what he's listed there. Ah, oh, here's another one. I got three copies, two copies of this. So Flash Gordon. So I don't know which one this is. I can't. Uh, so this one says Flash Gordon number 14. We already saw this. I love this cover, right? Beautiful cover. Um, this one's $1.44. I'm not sure it's the same one we looked at before or not. $1.44. And then... Here's another Flash Gordon, number 12, another number 12, right? So there's, and I would have to figure out which ones. Uh, this one again, there's another one that says 99 cents. So if you look at this one, here's this one, right? Here's this one, here's this one, right? I can't even do, here's, we'll do the triple. See those? So this one's cut, this one's cut from the top, this one is not, right? Less so. And they're not trimmed. It's just a cut. 
it's just the page is off center if you take a look take a look at this at the bottom see that the page is off center right so it's moves the picture up when they were cutting it at the bottom there's a bigger gap same with that one and this one is not see if you can see the bottom the lower one doesn't have the lines and these ones do so the page is off center being cut okay just some things you have to take a look at um, when you're looking at these things um, the cat's going meow meow i have to go downstairs and let him out um, okay so i'll be right back so the cat's on his way okay he needed to go out Cats being cats. So what else we got here? We got Magnus Robot Fighter. Magnus Robot Fighter. I love Magnus. Magnus is awesome. So this is Magnus Robot Fighter number 19. From 1967, and I paid 334 for this, and the grade for this is 4 4.5. And he says it's got a note here: is minor spine roll. Okay. Some great stories were told in Magnus Robot Fighter, both from the Gold Key comics as well as uh, Valiant, right? Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman number 170, 172 from 1967. Okay. And we did the Wonder Woman read. The, so let's do this one. Uh, 312. Okay, Wonder Woman 172, 1967, 312. And this is graded at uh, 2.53. Inside covers are light cream color around edges, right? So let's kick that down to 2.53. Right. And this is uh, this is when Wonder Woman still was wearing her classic outfit, and I believe this was uh, uh, most definitely this is before she went into the from doing the comic book read where we did Wonder Woman 200. I didn't. You know, I'm not too well versed in the Wonder Woman history, but when we did that reading, uh, someone was kind enough to give me some of the history, and they called that period the Iching era of Wonder Woman, where Wonder Woman had lost her power. So I assume this is before Wonder Woman lost her power, right? I'm not sure what issue is uh, she starts losing her power and comes back. And uh, from what I've been told, uh, it wasn't. A popular period but after doing Wonder Woman the reading for Wonder Woman 200 I thought it was a fantastic read so I'm not sure why it wasn't uh, considered to be good maybe people don't didn't like her losing the power but I thought it was uh, it was beautifully drawn beautiful beautiful artwork okay. Mandrick number Mandrick the magician number two from 1966 and this one costs 201 and it's graded this thing as 4 4.5 i like it nice buy All right. let's mystery in space let's find it first Space. Oops, we were spelling it wrong, that's why. Mystery in <laughs> there it is. Mystery in space. Right. Awesome. I love this mystery in space series. Okay. And you can get it on the cheap. You can get most of it on the cheap. Okay. This one cost a dollar forty nine. Mystery in space number ninety five from nineteen sixty four cost a dollar forty nine. 
and the grade for this is one one point five. <laughs> one inside ash page is missing. Oh yeah, missing, missing. N is missing, not affecting storyline. Which is if there's pages missing, I usually don't buy unless they're really cheap and really sought after. I have, I think, l low numbers of Superman, maybe Batman that are pages missing, but you can get them on the cheap if they're missing. If the ad pages are missing, you can still get them on the cheap, but it doesn't affect the story. So if this ad page wasn't missing, this was a looks like a great copy, but a dollar forty nine, I'll take it. Really, I'll take it. Is this an investment copy? I don't know. I wouldn't consider an investment. Well, maybe. All right, but for me, if I want to flip through this, you know, mystery in space comic and read it. Why not? Adam Strange can't go wrong in a sci fi. And look at the creatures. Like, seriously. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> right? Very cool, very cool. This one Modeling with Millie. Modeling with Millie, number 21. Okay, and this has got a huge chunk missing here. Take a look. Modeling with Millie, number 21. Okay. And this costs uh, 283. And it's graded at 1, 1. 1.5. Piece is missing from upper left corner of front cover, which it is. Right. And who's bidding against me? Yeah, there's a couple of people on to the thousand who's bidding against me on this. Okay. So a little bit on the, I guess maybe on a little bit of high end. For 283, but I'm happy to get it. This one's sought after, especially the lower number ones. This. Oh, I gotta rebag this guy. Definitely gonna rebag this guy into Mylar. Very happy to get this. This is way up there. Let me show you what this is Tales of Horror. Number ten it cost me ten fifty. Awesome. Let me see if I can get rid of the glare for you. From nineteen fifty four. Okay, cost me ten fifty. I was bidding against someone with five thousand five hundred seventy six feedbacks, right? And he was trying to get this. He did double bits on this. And this is graded. He graded this at 1.5, 1.8. 1.5 inch. The note he has is 1.5 inch upper spine split. 2 inch tear on front cover's right edge. Okay. And this is definitely in my table. Yeah. Tales of Horror. Toby Press. 1954. 10 cent. 10.50 I paid. Near mint value. And the guide that I looked at. I used one website to get these prices for the near mint price which is not it's it's an okay ballpark but it's not 100 percent accurate near mint for this uh there's absolutely no way you'll find it at 300 <laughs> like i don't know what near mint for this would go for it'd be into the thousands that's my guess right and the cover for this is done by ben brown david gantz and the art inside pages are done by the, the written work and the art. Ben Brown, David Gantz, George Olson. I would love to find out how many print runs of these there were and how many of these still exist. This is a collect, goes into both, all three categories. It's collectible as a reading copy and as an investment. I wouldn't sell this personally for 1050. I wouldn't sell this for that will triple the price I paid for it. Okay. Maybe we'll read it. Maybe I'll put this on the side and we'll have a read through this. Beautiful cover. Serpent cover. Right. Let's put this on the side over here. Let's do more classic illustrated. <laughs> Robinson Crusoe. Who doesn't know the story of Robinson Crusoe? Classic Illustrated number 10. 
from 1965. I'm not sure what the number it will, is like with classic. It's so hard to tell. Okay, cost me dollar fifty one. This is a higher print uh, number for the prints. It's not the first print. He's graded this thing as three three point five, and it's H N R one sixty seven. It's way high print up there. When you, once you get into the one sixty seven, this I don't know what print run that would be. Okay, Magnus, couple of Magnus. Magnus Robot Fighter number eight. Okay. 1964. Cost 564. Okay. And he's graded this thing as 4, 4.5. And yeah, this one's in the spreadsheet as well. Okay. Near mint price goes for this for 120. You probably get it for 120, probably less even. Because uh, Magnus is not really, well, I don't know. I just saw it after for some. I mean, I've been trying to get my hands on Magnus Robot Fighter number one for a while now at a reasonable price, and I can't get it at a reasonable price. <laughs> but the price is going for, I guess that's the reasonable price. Magnus Robot Fighter number 18 from 1967. I paid 301 for this. And he's great at this thing at four four point five minor spiral minor spiral is when it gets rolled up you get a little roll here and it is you could feel it right if you run your hand it's a minor spiral and some of that stuff you can get rid of with pressing but I haven't pressed any comic books and maybe someday when I sell some of my comic book collection lighten it up when we start selling some of this and looking at the numbers maybe we'll uh, well, I doubt it I'll get pressed, but we'll see. We'll see what we end up doing with these. We're about two-thirds of the way through. So let's see what else we got here. Ah, yes. <laughs> we got the... Previously, this guy had uh, some of these up for sale that I, we bought a couple of years ago, I guess. The Return of Gorgo, and this is Steve Ditko, right? Return of Gorgo, number two. Okay. And this costs seven, um, sorry, 579. Okay, and he's graded this thing as four, 4.5. And this should be in my spreadsheet. The Return of Gorgo, or Charlton Comics. Um, near mint price for this goes for 100, or listed in the guide as 100. Uh, hey, I didn't put the artists on there. Oh, did I? Oops, where are we? Yeah, yeah, I did. Sorry. The cover is Dick Gerardo, which is well known. Um, the inside pages are Joe Gill, Steve Ditko, Bill Mul Mul Mulno. Hard to pronounce. And I might already have this one, The Return of Gorgo number two, but I'm not 100% sure what I bought off of one before. So, but I do have uh, some of the Gorgo comics, the Steve Ditko stuff. Very happy to get them. Challengers of the Unknown. Challengers of the Unknown, number 78 from 1973. And Challengers of the Unknown is a sought after series. Some of these glare, some of them don't. Uh, Two twelve. That's what I paid for it, and it's graded at three three point five. Comic is off center and has minor spiral. You can feel it. Yeah, minor spiral. Is it off center? A little bit. Yeah, because you can see on this, on the row here, the black mark is there, right? But I'm happy with it. At a good price, two twelve. Would have been better in ninety nine, but two twelve is okay. Real love, as you know, I've been collecting some love comics, and I got some nice ones, right? Real love photo cover, number seventy five from nineteen fifty six, and this thing costs two twenty four. 
Okay. And the grade on this, he's given it as one, 1. 1.5. Why is he giving it as one? Oh, yeah. The, if you take a look, the, the spine has got lots of wear and tear on it. Scuffed, but it's still very appealing. Still a very appealing cutter. So I would give it more than one, 1.5. Probably 2.5, right? Because there's no chunks missing, right? But to each their own. Grading is very, in some cases, arbitrary. Rex. The Adventures of Rex, the Wonder Dog. And we know why this is. And this is number 32, I believe. Yeah, this is number 32. Rex the Wonder Dog, number 32, right? This thing cost me eight forty nine, right? And the grade for this is 1.5, 1 1.8. 1 okay. 8.49. And again, I was bidding against pretty high-end bidders. Adventures, Adventures of Rex, where is it? 8.49. Oh, I got to go back here. So number 32, um, near mint copy of this goes for, you know, the guide said 200, but you won't be able to find it at 200. Okay. And again, the cover, cover for this, Gil Kane, right? Bernard Satch, Gil Kane. The artwork for this is a whole bunch of people. Happy to have this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this one I was having to get. <sighs> Leave it to Binky. I love this cover. And for some reason it was being chased. Leave it to Binky, number 60. Beautiful cover. Okay. From 1958. And it cost me 950 high and this is graded at 3 3.5 small stain stain spot on front cover only and there's a little stain spot here if you can see on the arm of the dude right and the person that kicked this up so it was graded at 3 3.5 and the person that kicked this up uh, to that level he has plus over 10,000 feedback right so he's a reseller this thing's being chased after and leave it to binky where's binky number 60 there it is leave it to binky uh 950 it says the near mint price uh, on the guide was 60 dollars i'd pay 60 bucks for a near mint copy i think a lot of people would pay a lot more right. if a three is going for 950 when a, Someone with a 10,000 feet back is bidding against me. And before that, wow, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Uh, but the price would, just flu would fluctuate. You could probably get it at a better price if the liquidity, if no one's chasing and no one sees it coming up, right? Because they're usually up for seven days, right? Maybe you could do a mystic number six on it. Love letters. This is a little great, but beautiful cover. And the cover is scuffed up. Love Letters number 49 from 1956. This thing cost me 225. And the grade on this would be like a one. Yeah. Uh, 0 0.5 to one. He's great at this at. Good reader. Covers are separate. So when covers are separate, they kick down a lot. Okay. But still appealing cover. Two twenty five. Happy to have it. Nice. Blazing six guns. Okay, we'll look at blazing. Blazing Six Guns number one. OK, 
okay, from 1971. This thing cost uh, 425. And the grade on this is 77.5. I don't know if I have this in the spreadsheet, maybe. Uh, ba -ba 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 what did it cost? Oops. Let's see, 77.5. Seven, yeah, blazing. I put. I got this in the spreadsheet as well. And it says the near, near mint copy goes for 24. Okay. The cares. The cares. The cares is awesome. The cares is one of the. Uh, one of the big guns of the comic book industry. The work he did was fantastic. He did a lot of work, uh, a lot of work over the last few decades, from the 1960s and 1950s. I think he did work on it. I can't remember his history too well, but he's well known and he's done a lot of work. He's on the same level as Steve Ditko, but not too many people know about the cares. I don't know why, uh, but cover the cares. Beautiful. Blazing six guns, lots of detail, beautiful artwork. Take a look at that. Right. And with cowboys, you have the faces here. Western. Nice. Beautiful. Very happy to have that. War comics, battle. As you know, I have some of these, the battle comics. Battle number 54 from 1957. 223 and the grade for this is 1 1.5 cover is detached which kicks it down a lot I wouldn't kick it uh, I guess according to grading and once the covers are detached it kicks it down a lot but for me 223 is good okay. 1957 here's another flash Gordon a couple of more flash Gordons Flash Gordon, number eight. Here's another number eight. We already saw this one, right? Uh, I don't know which one this would be. A lot of the Flash Gordons are either this one or the previous one. I paid uh, 264 for them, and the grades are 7.58. Okay. This Flash Gordon we don't have a copy of, extra copy of. So. Flash Gordon. Which number is this? Flash Gordon number six. Right? Flash Gordon number six from 1967. Cost 264. And the grade for this is 5.5.5. Five, five. Back covers lower corner has a little chip with some creases around it. Okay. Nice cover. Flash Gordon, come to save the day. Da -da 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 -da. Flash Gordon. Da -da 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 -da. Flash Gordon number 17. Another Flash Gordon. Where are we? Here we go. Some of the stuff is like... Nice covers. I love the covers of these. This one costs a dollar um, 25. And he's got this graded at 3.54. Inside covers are turning light cream color around edges. I believe that's due to heat and oxygen and stuff. This page is turning brown, right? Here's another Flash Gordon. Number 16, right? And I think this is the second copy of this we have. I don't know, one of them we paid the... Uh, Dollar fifty nine. I don't know if it's this one or the other one, right? What was the grade of this one? Dollar, uh, sorry, dollar fifty one, and grade four four point five. I don't know if this is the one or not. Okay. More Flash Gordon. Nice. I like this cover. Flash Gordon number fifteen. Right. Some of the stuff is uh, like the. Uh, the bondage covers with the, you know, with the women just either held down. They haven't seen too many tied up. But this one costs 99 cents. And those comics are 
sought after. They go for a huge overguide. And this is graded at 8.5, 8, 8.5, cost a dollar, sorry, 99 cents from 1969, Flash Gordon number 15. Right. Nice cutter. If this was some of the Jungle Girl stuff. Very similar, beautiful covers though. And another number 14, so I don't know, this is the third copy of number 14 we got. I don't know which one this is. You know, this could be the dollar fifty-three one. Flash Gordon. Let me, let me see the price ranges. Gordon number fourteen. So one of them is. I love this cover, by the way. One of them is dollar fifty-three. Another one is dollar oh four, and that one I can't even look at the grade. Another one is dollar forty-four. And then we'll go back to, so this is the third copy. So we've got three copies of Flash Gordon number 14. And it ranges between $1.04 and $1.53, right? And the grades would have been about the same, which was, what was the grade on this? This was 6, 6.5. This was the $1.53 one was 6, 6.5. I believe I had a, you know, one of them was around an eight. So I was able to get an eight at a lower price then you know six six points uh, six six point five right i don't know this guy's got a twenty dollar mark on this one flash gordon number 17. i don't think it's for this one though it might be something from something else we're getting close we're getting close donald duck Donald Duck and Uncle Scrooge. The best of Donald Duck and Uncle Scrooge. Let's make sure we got the right one. So the best of Donald Duck and Uncle Scrooge. Number one. It's the second printing from 1964. And I think the first ones came out in 1950s. Uh, and the grade on this is 1.82. And we said because of, sh uh, because of the size of this comic, the shipping was going to cost double. Right. So, got this for two oh one. Nice. <laughs> Moby Dick. I've never read Moby Dick. Let's see. Classic Illustrated. Classic Illustrated, number five. Moby Dick. Okay. One day I'll sit down and read Moby Dick. And one thing I found out uh, here. Let me tell you the grade on this. The grade on this is two. 2.5, the great uh, 2.53, and this HR HNR 158. Okay, and it cost me 99 cents. All right, if you want a quick Moby Dick read, get the feel for it, this is it 99 cents. And from what I understand, um, Moby Dick, when it first came out, it wasn't a hit, it was a bomb, right? During that period, people didn't like it. Uh, so after, I believe, when the author died, then Moby Dick became a classic, right? Which goes to tell you that on the mainstream, not necessarily everything that people trash are bad. Sometimes they're classics. It's just society hasn't evolved enough to the level to recognize that they're classics, right? And that goes with comics as well. That goes with comics as well. So, Classic Illustrated, number 30, The Moonstone. Okay. And this is from 19, 1946. I don't think it's the first. There's no way this is the first printing. Um, and it's graded this thing as two, uh, 1.82. Cover is almost detached from upper stable, and it is detached from lower one. So, it's almost detached cover. And it's HNR 167. And I got this guy for 99 cents. Right. Fantastic. This. Excellent. I, 
have a copy of this Avengers number one but it's not the Avengers you might be thinking about this is the TV show the Avengers from 1968 and I have one of these that I paid like I don't know I bought it for like 20 bucks a while ago right or even more I think it was graded at around seven or eight or so this is graded at four four point five okay and I paid 650 for this and yeah I was bidding against you know the people in the thousands for this this is sought after this would be investment grade for me 4.5 is good enough 650 and it's definitely going to be in my spreadsheet nope the Avengers gold key and near mint uh, on guy that says it goes for 400 okay another classic illustrated Classic Illustrated number 56 from 1964. Awesome. Awesome octopus cover. Let's see, make sure I get the glare off. From 1964, The Toils of the Sea. Okay, and this one cost me 99 cents and is graded at 1.82. Spiral, small pieces missing from upper right corner of front cover. Spiral yeah you can feel the spine roll and a small piece missing right classic illustrated hamlet i've seen hamlet uh, play a few times one of the ones i saw at the uh, stratford festival i spent when i was going to university i went to stratford festival like four years in a row and checked out a lot of shakespeare fantastic shakespeare was meant to be viewed not just read as text and I'm pretty sure it's meant to be read in comic book format, right? So I might give this one a read. Uh, this one cost me 99 cents. Uh, so classic illustrated number 99, Hamlet from 1952, and it's graded at 4.55, and it's HNR 167. So it's future printings of it. It's not the first printing, All right? Classic illustrated. The Prince and the Popper. The Prince and the Popper. I don't know how you pronounce that. Classic Illustrated number 29. The Prince and the Popper, 1946. And it cost me $1.75. And it is graded at 3 3.5 and it's hnr 167. Okay. classic illustrated freedom's cause classic illustrated 168 Let me close so you can see it 168 it says it's first print from 1970 and it cost me 659 that's the highest and this is stiff cover and I looked this up so the cover is up on a stiffer print uh, and it's HNR 169 and I think this is the only printing of this and it's graded at 4 4.5 and it should be classic illustrated uh, let's see make sure I got it in there yeah and I have it in the spreadsheet as well okay Gilbert Publications, 25 cents. A near mint copy of this goes for 200, and this is for 4.5. Okay, or guided at 400. Okay. And who are the artists for this? Cover, mm, I don't know who the cover for this is. George Alfred Henry, original author adaptation. So George Henry was the author for this. George Evans, Reed Crandall, artist. Classic Illustrated, Pilot. So Classic Illustrated, number 70, from 1964. This one cost $1.51. And it's graded at 4, 4 5, And it's HNR 167. Another Classic Illustrated, 
Classic Illustrated, 109. Okay, and it says it's the first print. And it's Pitcairn's Island. Pitcairn's Island. And it cost, uh, I paid $1.53 for this. And it's graded at uh, 1, 1. 1.5. Comic is off center. And it's HNR 110. Who kicked it out? Oh no, this one didn't get kicked up. $1.53. Well worth it. Well worth it. And again, Classic Illustrated. Julius Caesar. Okay. So Classic Illustrated number 68. And from 1950, Julius Caesar. This is uh, it cost me 99 cents. And it's graded at 33.5 and it's HNR 165 and it's a future printing for sure. So it's not the 1950 printing. Right. 99 cents Julius Caesar comic to read. Fantastic. And I've seen Julius Caesar multiple times as, as playing Shakespeare. Fantastic. If you ever get a chance, go to the Stratford Festival if you want to see plays live, Shakespeare especially. Right, Stratford Festival, Ontario, Canada. Take a month off and go see some amazing plays. Classic Illustrated, number 132, 99 cents, and it's graded at 33.5 HNR 150. Okay. And this is the last. <coughs> last bundle okay and there's one comic here i want to show you you're gonna love horror comic but let's do these ones there's a couple more classic illustrated but this one is here let me do the classic illustrated one more classic illustrated at least anyway where is this ox classic illustrated number 125 the oxbow incident from 1955 fantastic cover beautiful cost 201 okay and it's graded at 4 4.5 and it's hnr 143 beautiful cover love it love it jimmy olsen jimmy olsen jimmy olsen 114 from 1968 dollar or four and it's graded at two 2.5 cover and center fold is detached from lower staple i would give this a, a much higher than two 2.5 dollar or four thank you very much sergeant fury Let's see if we can scroll and find. Nope. Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos, number 78 from 1970. That's a nice copy. Cost me 225. Okay. And it's graded at 8.5. Well worth it. Well worth it. 225. Thank you very much. Fantastic voyage. Awesome. Oops. Fantastic voyage number one. Right? I've seen this go for a much higher. Uh, from 1969, it cost me 222 and it's graded for 4.5. Very happy to have this. Fantastic voyage number one. Beautiful cover. Gold key. Man thing. Man thing. Man thing number three. Let's see if we can find it first here. I'll do that. Hey, where is it? Okay, I'm gonna have to 
see if it pops up. Yeah, let me hold it. You guys look at the cover while I find the same. can't find it. I wonder why. So it's not popping up. Uh, I don't know what a paper is. <laughs> okay. Bad thing number three. It's a nice copy though. It's not in the search. I wonder if it's I could find it through the email. Bad thing. to it oh nice I think that's it come on is it that no it's so oh, where is it bad thing number three. Oh, here we go I paid 325 for this I have to check the emails for this I paid 325 for this man thing number three okay and the grade on it come on I can't even find the grade on this so let me hold on let me copy this over somewhere else maybe it'll pop up on this one <coughs> they really removed the data 6.57 i had to sort of jerry rig it go to back doorway and now that gets closed off so mad thing number three six point six point five seven and it cost me 325 awesome buy i like it Wish I could get it for 99 cents, but someone kicked it up. Action Comics, 484. I had to have this. I wonder what I paid for it. 261 from 1978. Superman and Lois Lane getting married? Is this Lana Lang or Lois Lane? In the first issue of Action Superman, the Armstrong. Oh well. It's a marriage one. Flying off. So 261. And this is graded a 5, 5.5. 5. Okay. And 261 from 1978. Action Comics number 484. Okay. This one. web of mystery very happy to have this very happy to have this this is definitely in the spreadsheet web of mystery number 10 okay look at that cover cost for uh 946 okay and it's graded at one 1. 1.5 covers are completely split in half right so on the spine the covers are totally separate split in half uh, web of mystery number 10 so i pay for uh, 946 for this the guide said that the mint copy of this goes for 400 you couldn't find a mint copy of this for 400 a mint copy of this would be into the thousands i think that's my take anyway i haven't looked too deep into it but uh I look for these comics and I haven't seen anything mint copy of this come out. Um, so I'm very happy to have this. Very happy to have this. Who kicked it up? Yeah, they kicked it up. The resellers kicked it up. Okay. Very happy to have this. And I would grade this at more than 1.5. There isn't huge chunks missing from this. There is a stain right there on the neck. But it's sort of lost with the art. Right. Beautiful cover. I love it. I love these horror covers. So I'm going to put this over here. Maybe we have a read through that one too. Action Comics 440, 447. <coughs> Action Comics 447, 1975, cost me 250. And the grade for this is 77.5. 
Nice buy, 250, 1975. Pretty high grade. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Woman. 163. Let's do 163. We'll find it that way easier, I think. Yep, 163. So Wonder Woman 163 from 1966. And it costs 312. And the grade on this, he's giving it as 2, 2.5. Lower spine split. Five of the inside pages have has small dog ear by upper corner, small piece missing uh, missing from upper right corner front cover. Hmm. 312. Is it on the high end? Probably on the high end that I paid. All right, Wonder Woman 163. Nice. Wonder Woman 185. Wonder Woman 185. I think Wonder Woman comics started going for a higher price once the movie was coming out. Not once it came out. So Wonder Woman 185 from 1969. I paid 312 for this. And it's graded at 2, 2.5. Who was kicking these up so high? Yeah, the resellers, they're into the thousands. They're <laughs> kicking it up, right? Oof. Mystic. Hey. Where is the mystic? I saw the mystic here earlier. Come on. Mystic number 55. Right? 1957. I paid seven fifty for this, and it's graded at two two point five. Cover is detached from upper staple. Okay, and it was a um, it was a collector. It was a low end guy that kicked it up. I should have been able to get this a lot lower if uh, this person didn't keep on kicking it up. I should have been able to get it for around five fifty six, but it went for seven fifty. I'll pay seven fifty for a Mystic. Now keep in mind, I got Mystic number six graded at five point five. For what price? Right. With shipping 85, and this one costs me 750 for an ungraded 2 2.5, right? I think it was 2 2.5, wasn't it? Yeah, 2 2.5. But I would give this a higher grade than 2 2.5. And this is the last comic. Ready for it? <laughs> Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon number five. I don't know which number five this is. I think we got a couple of number fives, but 99 cents and graded at 5.56, right? Then we have a couple of, I have Flash Gordon number five already. Gordon number five. How many of these did we get? Yeah, one of them I paid 3034 and the other one I paid, so, one flash gordon number five, 303, another flash gordon number five, 99 cents, and another flash gordon number five, 99 cents. So there's three flash gordon number fives. So the price varied. The high end was three. This one, one of the ones I bought, I checked out before. Uh, the six, let's check it out. Uh, the 99 cent one, this one, that's the only one I can check the grade on was 5.56 so the three dollar one i'm pretty sure it was around 8.5 or something not uh, the grade on it possibly okay and that's it uh that's my last comic book haul the most recent it's going to go on the playlist uh the comic book haul playlist so it's going to be comic book haul number 12 okay and uh, we have the table set up there's two tables that i'm going to share i'm going to let loose you guys can take a look at them Play around with them, add your own columns, uh, do what you want. If you're going to add your own columns, please make sure you insert the columns completely and 
order the stuff hopefully it'll maintain itself i'm not sure if this is the best way to do it but i'll keep a copy on my hard drive as well and once we get into um, looking at the mathematics of investing in comics we'll dig into this a lot more but i thought this was a sort of a good way to give an idea of what we can do with this and sort of you know start this up as a discussion right it's sort of a primer to investing in comics and i thought you guys would get a kick out of this right fun stuff fun stuff i hope you enjoy it i definitely did uh made me feel better recouping from seasonal flu <clears throat> right uh that's it for now and i'll see you guys in the next video